Although renowned as both a composer and teacher, Franz Liszt is regarded as possibly the greatest pianoforte virtuoso of all time. His piano playing was phenomenal. More than that, it was flashy. Franz Liszt was born in Rading, Germany on October 22, 1811. And by nine, the child prodigy made his first appearance as a concert pianist. Liszt was in the vanguard of pioneering the piano recital, the piano concert, as a high wire event, as an event of high drama. By 12, Liszt was touring widely as a well-regarded concert pianist. But in 1826, his father died. Exhausted and traumatized, Liszt stopped touring and became a piano teacher. Liszt was a fantastically important uh, teacher, and he virtually really invented the idea of the master class, of bringing lots of students together. During the 1830s, Liszt composed his own pieces, including his Grande Etude de Paganini, as well as famously took other composers' works and transcribed them for the solo piano. About half of Liszt's works for the keyboard are actually arrangements of music by other composers, and this was very important in 19th century culture. Beginning in 1839, Liszt toured extensively throughout Europe and was among one of the first to give solo piano recitals. He would give piano concerts and the women would swoon. The men would become extremely jealous. He was someone who was able to bring sex appeal to the concert hall. After his final paid performance in 1847, Liszt championed the concept of program music by famously composing symphonic poems. Liszt was one of the innovators of what was called program music, music associated with novels and stories and history and works of art. Liszt gave his last performance in 1886 and died of pneumonia that same year on July 31st. Franz Liszt's impact can be seen today in the performances of such greats as Liberace, Elton John, and even Lady Gaga. Liszt, in some ways, was the first rock star of classical music. He had affairs with many women, good many illegitimate children. He was a very, very colorful, brilliant, handsome figure that led one of the most fascinating lives of any composer.